Jesse, congratulations, you're into the quarterfinals, but you don't do any things easy, do you? I like to entertain. <laughs> no, I mean, I was shocking first three sets, especially the first set. I was, um, I couldn't get off, you know, six starts, and then won that set. I thought I was quite fortunate and unlucky to lose the third set, but then, yeah, I found my best stuff when my back's up against the wall and I needed to come out fighting. And yeah, it was um, towards the end, I thought I played really well. And, you know, that gives me confidence now going into the next game, knowing how well I played towards the back end of that game. Yeah. Towards the end, one set was 107 average, the other one was over 100 as well. In that doubling format, that takes some going, doesn't it? Yeah, but I, I sort of felt it, you know. I, I sort of zoned in and you, you know when you're playing well, you find that purple patch and my back, like I said, my back was up against the wall and I, I, I should have been 2-1 up. But sort of beating myself up a little bit and I knew that Joe didn't play nowhere near what he can and I knew if I just up my game you know, a little bit that I, I could come through the game but yeah I upped it more than a little bit and I sort of found some of my A game towards the end which was nice. For you, you kind of looked kind of flat up on there as well, we didn't see much reaction from you until the end, any reason for that tonight? Yeah because I was playing rubbish, you know, when, you, when things ain't going your way, you're not hitting doubles, you're not scoring and you're not hitting doubles to finish off legs, what, what are you supposed to do, you know, you, until you're playing well and, and, and you can just let off some energy, then yeah, I'm going to be flat. I was, I was absolute rubbish for three sets and yeah, I was brilliant for the last two. Looking ahead, could be a real special year for you. How much would it mean to go on and win this again? Yeah, I mean, every tournament, you know, I, I'd love to go on and, and win the Worlds. That's the main thing for me. You know, my, my one eye is always on, a, on the Worlds coming up to this period of the, of, of, the, of the calendar. But yeah, obviously, main job now is to try and defend this ranking money from two years ago, try and pick up another trophy. And you know, it would be amazing to pick this up. And you know, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. And, and I'm full of confidence. I, whenever I'm out there, I don't think anybody can beat me but, but myself. You're doing some special things on that board right now and a short career for a dart player having won what you've won already where's the ceiling for Garen Price? Well I would say about five six seven years time because that's when <laughs> I started to wind down I mean honestly I, I, it's, it's, it's really tough as many people say that you know you've got a life of luxury and you're on the road and you're traveling the world it's a tough sport and it, and it is tough for traveling all the time and missing everything with your family and stuff so yeah over the next five six seven years I think I will improve because I'm still an amateur in my eyes. You know, I'm I'm doing what I'm doing, but I'm nowhere near experience as well half of these boys are. So, you know, give me another two, three, four years, then I'll be a way better player. And um, yeah, another four years after that. Bye bye. Guess it was like a switch had been flicked after the third set. What can you put your finger on? What changed in that match? Yeah, I sort of. I knew I had to concentrate a lot more because I was having loose starts and I was missing loads of doubles. And I just felt I, that I zoned in a little bit. I don't know what it is, but I sort of blanked everything out and I could feel it. I just, I'm not, I, I can't put my finger on it, but sometimes you can feel when you're playing bad or when you're playing well. And, you know, I, when I was 2 1 down, I came back out and sort of found myself in a zone where, which is a nice feeling. I know dark players will, will know what I mean, but a lot of people, other, other people won't. But I was in that zone where I just felt like I couldn't miss. Your section of the draws really opened up. There's a couple of players in their first TV quarterfinal. Do you pay any attention to that, or do you just fully? No, no, I'm, I'm just every game as it comes. You know, it doesn't matter who you play. Same, you know, if I play anyway, like I did in the first set, I'm gone. You know, it doesn't matter. You, you need to be on your game, no matter who you play. Whether it's Michael, Peter, Maras, Rosman in the next round, he's a fantastic player. So, yeah, I need to start off well, put him under a lot of pressure. Otherwise, it's going to be another long night. How much more do you feel there is to come from you? A lot more because obviously you've seen the first three sets I was I was rubbish and sort of found close to my A game. I think it's a little bit more in the tank that uh, and the last two sets. But yeah, if I can produce anywhere near that for for my next game, I, I think I'll be alright. Because we're starting to see some fresh blood this this week and last. Obviously, Madders making it through to the quarters. Martin Lukeman as well. For Madders, is it is it a tougher game because he's got nothing on his shoulders in the next round, does he? Or a tougher game for me or for him? No, no, I mean, it doesn't matter who I play. I always concentrate on my own game, whether I'm playing Michael, Peter, Maras, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I know if I don't play well, then those boys can beat me. So, yeah, whichever game I go into, I always concentrate on my own game because, you know, if you look at the other player, then, you know, you, half the game is gone. You, you, you know, your back's up against the wall and, and you're gone. So, yeah, as long as I can play my A game, don't worry about what anybody else do, does or do, I'm, I'm fine. That's all, guys.